Remember when you were a child, your mind was always working. Your imagination was unlimited. You could see a cardboard box and turn it into a fort or a castle or even a rocket ship. You were imaginative and your brain was alive with creativity. But for some, something happened. As they grew older, they still had ideas. Beautiful ideas, practical ideas, useful ideas. But it took more than a cardboard box to make those ideas real. Without a way to bring those ideas to life, they simply disappeared. Their brains simply gave up trying, turned off, and went to sleep. If this is you, cheer up! There's a solution to this problem. It's called 3D printing. 3D printers can wake up sleeping brains by turning ideas into reality. That's what this class is all about. We want to turn your brain on by linking it with the power of 3D printing. We call this our 3D ThinkLink initiative. This class is part of our 3D ThinkLink lab, where we teach you the link you need to bring your ideas to life with a 3D printer using a wonderful 3D design application called Moment of Inspiration. Wait, wait, wait your brain, brain rebels. rebels. Isn't, Isn't 3D, 3D design, design, design hard, hard to, learn? to learn? Relax. 3D design is not all that hard to learn. The secret is to approach 3D design just like you learned your first language. We use a noun and verb approach. How do nouns, nouns and verbs, verbs help, us help us understand, understand 3D, 3D design? design? To learn your first language, you use simple words called nouns to describe things like boy. Then you combine those nouns with action words called verbs, like grow, to make simple sentences like boy grows. We apply this same noun and verb approach to learning moment of inspiration. We learn to create nouns, like circle. Then we add action words or verbs like scale to modify those nouns. We access these nouns and verbs using Moment of Inspiration's user interface. Let's take a look at the structure of Moment of Inspiration's interface. The first thing we need is some way to create nouns. That's where Toolpad 1 comes in. Toolpad 1 allows us to create nouns like circle, rectangle, and ellipse. Next, we need some way to select the verbs that we will combine with our nouns. Toolpad 2 contains simple verbs like copy and paste. Toolpad 3 contains the most important verbs like extrude and revolve. We also need to be able to see our creations. We do this in the view window. We can choose to use one large view window or it can be split into four smaller view windows. When split, the top left window shows the top or bottom view. The bottom left window shows the front or back view. The bottom right window shows the right or left view. And the top right window shows the very important 3D view. When we name a noun in our creation, it shows up in the object browser. The object browser is turned off and on by a button in the option group toolbar located at the bottom right of the form. And finally, there's the operation toolbar having control buttons and important information just under the view window. Here's what it looks like in Moment of Inspiration in the split view mode. Remember, Toolpad 1 allows us to create nouns like circle, rectangle, and ellipse. Toolpad 2 contains verbs like copy and paste. Toolpad 3 contains the most important verbs like extrude and revolve. The top left window shows the top or bottom view. The bottom left window shows the front or back view. The bottom right window shows the right or left view. And the top right window shows the very important 3D view. The object browser is just to the right of the view window. And at the bottom right of the form, we have the options group toolbar. And finally, there is the operation toolbar having control buttons and important information under the view window. Once you have the link between your brain's creativity and a 3D printer, you will be turning those ideas in your brain into real 3D objects in no time. It's going to be a lot of fun. Turn on your brain with YouthQuest Foundation's 3D Think Link Lab.